Ten and down to the eight-yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Play action. Now Richardson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Richardson now on third and goal. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. From a yard out. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come beat. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Amade Hooker. teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there. That's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again.